A group of Melbourne wharfies has been stood down for refusing to unload a Chinese container ship. Jody Lee is in West Melbourne and Jody, the workers feared they were at risk of contracting the virus. Yeah, Mike, that's right. It's now 60 wharf workers who've been stood down by their employer, DP World. Yesterday, they refused to unload a Chinese vessel containing medical equipment for fear that it was contaminated with COVID-19. The issue here is whether or not the ship has served its 14-day mandatory quarantine period. Workers say it's been less than 14 days since it's passed through its most recent port of Taiwan, but bosses say it's been more than a fortnight since it left China. Workers feared, of course, that their health would be put at risk, but they did offer to unload other vessels. The company suggested that it was industrial action and, we, and the, the, the guys in there said, well, no, it's not. We have absolute critical concerns about our health and safety and this is the only issue. Um, we aren't refusing work, it's just on that. And the company deliberated and said, well, we're standing you down, which, which we know is illegal. Uh, they're raising health and safety concerns under the Act. Now, Australia's largest outbreak of COVID-19, of course, came from a cruise ship in Sydney. So you can understand workers' concerns here. The uh, Wharf Union has been fighting for better biosecurity laws since the start of the year back in January, and it has continued to continue... It has vowed to continue that fight. Mike? Jody, thank you.